The Bibby has the open shot. I tell you what, that's yeah, that's that's, uh, that's like the rock of the yeah. rookie days at Golden State. Williams goes for the steal. That leaves Weber open, and he slams it home. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> His elbow was above the rim. Boy, he saw the daylight. Nobody's going to stop me now. With the seventh pick in the 1998 NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select Jason Williams from the University of Florida. For Rick Adelman, who was waiting for the right situation, and he found it here in Sacramento. What a deep and talented team he has taken over here. Adelman, quite successful, taking a couple of Portland clubs in the early 90s to the NBA Finals. Pass intercepted by Van Exel. He does that about once a game to the opposing guard. Underneath comes Kobe. Slam dunk block by Vladi. What a great block. First time I've seen a slam dunk by Kobe block. Yeah, me too. With Jason Williams, 6'1", Abdul Wahid at 6'8", Vladi Divac in the middle with Corliss Williamson and Chris Weber flanking him. That's a formidable front line. With the 14th pick in the 1996 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Predrag Stojakovic from Pau in Greece. Debbie again through the leg, stolen. Jason Williams. Oh, what a pass! Are you kidding me? How did he see him there? Well, his name is Jason Williams, that's why. He did it again. And the surprising Kings have taken a two to one lead in this series over the defending Western Conference champion, Utah Jazz. Utah didn't so much win until it escaped in round one. Look at the handshake. This is admiration. He said, you know what? We fought you to the finish. And it took us an overtime in game five. Last year they were the darlings of the NBA postseason by taking Utah to five games in the Western Conference playoffs. Sacramento established themselves as one of the best young teams in the league and two of the hottest young players in the Kings. Sacramento with numbers. Williams pushing it. Line pass to Anderson for the reverse. If you don't like that, you don't like NBA basketball. You can see that coming a mile away. Then Sacramento, you look at the numbers, nine at home, seven away, the most difficult schedule. But this thing is going to go down to the wire. But if the Kings have any hopes at all of getting into that fourth spot, tonight is the must win. Needs to be more aggressive on the offensive end, but this is the kind of game. Three on two break for the Kings. Weber's got a run. Oh, Anderson, put it in. Behind the back, the wraparound from Jason Williams. The Los Angeles Lakers were the Sacramento Kings with a hard-fought first round with some well-deserved handshakes and sportsmanship. With the 16th pick in the 2000 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Hidiet Turkoglu, who plays for the Efes Pilsen team in Istanbul, Turkey. And Stojakovic had Jackson. Oh, what a pass! He takes a quick look. He knows who's ahead. Behind the back, right on the money. Bobby Jackson for the finish. Yes. Everyone trying to play defense more than anything. In practice, we push each other. We go through a lot of one-on-one -on -one drills and stuff that, you know, makes you stand up and you just have to play your guy. And then we're just out there trying to help each other. The darlings of the NBA have been the Sacramento Kings with their riveting style of play. Well, now they play defense to go along with all those wonderful components on offense. So the team is having their best start in the history of their franchise. Five and a half minutes. Christie pokes it away. Look at the pass to Stojakovic. You don't do it any better than that. Throws to Jason on the left baseline. Poe goes into the lane. Back to Weber. Reverse jam. Oh, what a clinic the Kings put on with that sequence. Weber against O'Neal. The foul. Yes! Chris Weber! And if they can make the free throw, the Kings can still get the ball back. Oh, boy! In the Kings with numbers. It's a four on three. Christie. What passing by the Sacramento Kings! Williams. Oh, nice. Oh, 
a beautiful pass. Yeah. And for the first time in 20 years, the Kings are on their way to the second round of the NBA playoffs. And listen to the crowd. Beat LA, beat LA from the Kings fans. So the Kings lose only 11 games at home all season, but four of the 11 at the hands of the Los Angeles Lakers, who now make it 15 straight wins. With the 25th pick in the 2001 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Gerald Wallace from the University of Alabama. Bibby's foul shot is good. The first, it's 113-111 Grizzlies. Nice steal, though, a moment ago by Mike. Mike coming into this game, averaging almost uh, with a little over one and a half steals per game. Ivan Weber, Stojakovic up front, and as we uh, chronicled, Mike Bibby playing just consistent, carefree basketball in the sense that he's running the team, but doing it under control. right now gets another jam and draws a foul ben got him that time and that'll do it and to think what would have happened at sacramento lost had the kings lost this game they would have played thursday and met dallas had they won the series on saturday well, i heard people say that but you know what we all came back together and uh we know this isn't a championship we're just celebrating the moment but uh it feels good and we got a long way to go. The fact we're not scared, it's just time to ball and see what happens. This is what you dream about right here, baby. The Lakers 93, the Spurs 87. It will be the Los Angeles Lakers and the Sacramento Kings in the Western Conference Final Series. O'Neal lays it up, oh. missed it. Ball tipped out to Ori, a straight on three. Good! The Lakers have won! Robert Ori's greatest hits tour continues. Oh. Bibby has the open shot. Trying to buy some time for Bobby Deepbox at a foul. Scott's already bailing out on the play. That's not a foul. Huh? Take it back to Sacramento for a game seven. Weber called for the offensive foul. That's number five on Weber. And this is a terrible foul. Here's Bryant for the ball on Presley Richard with a foul. Weber has a great block on this ball. And he's going to come. Oh, an elbow. Yes, an elbow. Game six, 2002. It was unbelievable. It was the worst officiated game in my, my, uh, my sports writing here in Los Angeles. That it was an abomination. That it was an embarrassment to the league. That it was the worst officiated contest in professional basketball I'd ever seen. The Los Angeles Lakers had 27 free throws in the fourth Absolutely. quarter. That playoff games aren't officiated fairly. Los Angeles Lakers winning here in Sacramento. In overtime, 112 to 106 in one half. Seven game serve. Oh, look at this. Rick Fox elbowing Duck Christie. Christie gets up, and look what happens. Oh, Fox pushes Christie, and Christie punches him in the face. And this is the preseason. Need I remind you? Obviously, the heated feelings carrying over from the postseason a year ago. Weber down the three. Weber. Oh! If you don't like that, you don't like Kings basketball. Chris Weber somehow, someway scoops in, and the Kings lead it. The 2003 NBA Six Man Awards to our own Buddy Jackson. Down in Utah, 111 to 91, the lone team to advance thus far in the NBA playoffs as they win this best of seven series, four games to one. Plays for Ray Lafrance over to top Weber. Weber's down. 
Weber is down, and that's not good for Sacramento. Completely down on the baseline. Face down. The worst of all possible worlds for Sacramento. Well, it's uh, obviously disappointing loss for us. Uh, we had a lot of injuries this year. We, we fought hard for the uh, for, uh, playoffs, but we came up short. Seven foot center from the Indiana Pacers in his first All Star game, Brad Miller. They've had a great year this year, and they've had so much adversity to overcome. First, Mike Bibby out for 27 games. Bobby Jackson breaks his hand, and Chris Weber. Tonight, they'll be without Vlade Divac. I love this team. I think they're the best team in basketball and the most entertaining. Vlade Divac, Pizza, looking for the win. Yes! Score off the bench. Three tenths of a second left. Wow! What a shot by Stoyakovic. Sacramento wins it. You know, it was a tough game for us. We started out a little slow. But I kept telling everybody, we don't want to go back to Dallas. You know, so everybody kept fighting. We kept it. Weber for the tie. And the Minnesota Timberwolves are going to the Western Conference Finals. Body Divas, Grant Major in the same building will be looking at the floor, finds a cutting, running Kevin Martin, and Kevin Martin, the most athletic of Kings, taking the ball and a major throwdown, alley-oop. People have asked me, you know, uh, uh, how was it up there? It's my best six years of my career, you know, and uh, it's always going to be there, and uh, I'll remember my six years in Sacramento every time. Chris Webber, career against the Lakers, shooting a very uh, good 48%. Double doubles. He's with Stojakovic and Brad Miller, and the backcourt of Doug Christie and Mike Bibby. And Doug Christie in the backcourt. Christie had four steals Thursday against Atlanta. The college star in St. Joe's, and he gets the assist to Doug Christie, and Orlando ties the game at 18. I just can't wait till this till this game is over, so I can say I played my first game as a six. And I rely on is just being able to be uh, free on the court and not overthinking. So hopefully I can just get back to playing basketball without all the extra emotions around it. So Akovic, only two baskets here in the game, but he's got Kamen on him. And there's the three. Pretty well, Page just backs up, keeps going back, and there's a, you see Kamen challenging. Allen, Isaac. Oh, Ray Allen! Virtually unstoppable. 43 for Ray <laughs> Allen, a new playoff career high. Bobby Jackson. Oh, Bobby Jackson, what a shot. The hang time was unreal. Wow. Patience Lyakovich has regained his shooting touch. Oh, he has. Mike Bibby finding Page on a long ball. Bonzi Wells, you see Page with his feet set. When his feet set, he gets it. Stojakovic is excited. He has eight in the fourth. The funnies help. Got him feeling a little bit better about himself. And then the shot started to fall, Bill. Unbelievable clutch shot. As you said, enough time, but that's a tough shot. Mike Bibby's just the kind of guy he wants to take those. Now the pick by Duncan. Not close stolen by Bibby. Ahead to Martin. To the rim. We just need to get organized and say and get a schedule set, anticipate what, when we may play, and uh, this is the fun part. I mean, this is the fun part when you get there. Now, now it's a new season, and uh, anything can happen. Veteran NBA guard Mike Bibby is on the move. The Sacramento Kings, in the midst of a rebuilding project, dealt Bibby to the Atlanta Hawks, who are trying to make the postseason for the first time since 1999.